when you are vaccinated um, pigs, um, usually we do not uh, recommend to vaccinate the animals very young because the presence of maternal antibodies may interfere with the vaccination, especially with the first dose of the vaccine. So we can perform serology to, um, to have the information about the decay of maternal antibodies to establish the best moment for vaccination. Usually, if the first dose is given after 7-8 weeks of age, it should be okay not having this interference with maternal antibodies. These two types of ELISA tests are diagnostic tests which are um, based on the detection of presence of antibodies against completely different antigens. The APX4 ELISA test will detect antibodies against a toxin APX4, which is produced in vivo, live animals, for any strain, any serotype. So vaccinated animals will never induce antibodies against this toxin. So these tests cannot be used for detection of uh, antibodies against um, the vaccination. You have the other type of ELISA test, which is an ELISA test based on the LPS, which is the body of the, of the bacteria. And this test, in theory, should be able to detect antibodies once you vaccinate against a bacterium. Uh, the problem is that the test has been standardized uh, for detecting infected animals and not vaccinated animals. So the level of antibodies the kit, the ELISA kit, will detect are antibodies after infection, not necessarily after vaccination. So some animals, vaccinated animals, may present negative results with the commercial kit for the detection of uh, the infection, but it does, that not, does not mean that these animals do not have antibodies against the vaccine. It's very difficult to correlate the presence of antibodies with this kit and protection with the vaccine. In the case of the vaccines containing toxins, um, there is no really commercial test to detect this toxin. This toxin will be APX1, 2 and 3. So there is no way to detect, no commercial way at least, to detect antibodies against these, these toxins. So I would not use serology as a way to detect if the vaccine is working or not. Again, there are two types of, <coughs> of vaccines, vaccine based on bacterium, which are the whole bacteria. And when you have bacterium, you can detect the level of antibodies against this bacterium using an in-home in ELISA and using the whole bacteria that is included in the vaccine. These are in-home uh, tests, so it is a little bit more complicated and each laboratory has to develop that kind of test to measure the antibody response against the vaccine. In the case of vaccines which are based on toxins, I would say unless the laboratory producing the vaccine is offering the test, which is not usually the case, you do not have any way to, uh, to measure antibody response. I guess that the best way when you are using a vaccine against APP, you are usually having clinical cases, so you need to see which is the improvement that you get with the vaccination, rather the titers of antibodies.